We are learning more tonight about the challenges the firefighters had to face as they battled that destructive fire at Inverary Inn in Badek. CTV News has learned the fire hydrant right in front of the historic lodge was not working at the time of the fire. But as CTV's Kyle Moore tells us tonight, for now the investigators are focused on the cause of the fire. The fire marshal's office, along with Bedeck RCMP, were back today combing through what is left of the iconic structure that stood as the centerpiece of the Inverary Resort for more than 100 years. My sisters, um, you know, joined me from from New Brunswick, and 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 um, you know, some key staff joined us in the house just to, you know, and it was just like kind of a Cape Breton funeral. I have got very little sleep since yesterday morning at 2 o'clock in the morning. The deck volunteer fire chief, Dara McCauley, has been on the scene for the most part since the fire began. Four other departments assisted in the blaze, which was not easy to contain. According to sources, CTV News has learned the fire hydrant in front of the resort was not working at the time, which made it harder for firefighters to get water. It's an old building. It's got lots of uh, add-ons on it and lots of different. It's very challenging, as you can see. They're still smoldering parts of it because we can't get out the fire. McCauley says it appears the fire started in the kitchen area, but how it started is unclear. Nova Scotia RCMP reaching out to the public today asking for pictures, videos or anyone that saw anything suspicious. Part of that is we're just trying to determine what happened. Uh, it is such a mainstay here in the community for over 100 years. Uh, so we're trying to determine what happened. Uh, part of that is uh, to find out every angle that we can and to investigate every possible lead that we have. So There are 133 guest rooms here on the resort. 27 were lost in the fire along with a kitchen area and pub. Still staff here are confident they'll be able to accommodate future events. The main building obviously, you know, the heart of the organization, I guess, or the heart of the property. Um, and it's, it's uh, um, you know, it's devastating that we, we don't have it, um, but we are working with the rest of the property to make sure that we're, we're able to carry on the same services that we, we did to, in that building as well. McCauley says it will be a while before things return to normal here, but they are doing the best they can with the height of tourism season just around the corner. Now, Steve McCauley did say he was speaking with his insurance company and there are plans to rebuild when that is. He doesn't know, but he says it is business as usual. As you can see behind me here, they're already setting up for a weekend wedding. All Steve, right. Kyle, thank you very much. CTV's Kyle Moore back in Bedeck for us tonight.